Hey Gemini, let's get started with your reading. What do we have for Gemini? Let's start with Oracle decks. Messages for Gemini. Scarab Spirit, it's similar to what I got for Pisces. What appears unusable may still have great value if you look deeper. So that's a calling to probably um, investigate, know more about the details before making certain decisions, before letting go, or before um, getting to some finality, right? Look at it again. Because what appears unusable, what appears to be no longer of use to you, may still have great value. Let's see. The healer. Healing energy surrounds you. And the situation that worries you allow the healing to take form. So if you're in pain right now, if you're heartbroken, allow the healing power, right? The healing touch of the universe to take form in your life. Allow that space for yourself to heal. Don't rush things. Okay? Because the healing energy is surrounding you right now. If you are worried about your job, your love life, and all that, take time to rest and rejuvenate. Get into the zone of having um, a clear mind every now and then, because that could also help you in your healing. What else do we need to know about Gemini's current situation? We have jealousy, energy vampire, and games. So oh, this could be about relationships where um, somebody may be jealous. Yeah. And um, somebody may be fighting against you, you know, out of jealousy. And with that, they are sucking all the energies from you, yeah, which is not really good. All jealousy can also... Um, extreme jealousy right could also uh, be considered as low vibrational type of energy so you're not wanting to stay there it's not gonna heal you it's not gonna do you any good to I feel like somebody is jealous in a situation jealous of you or jealous in in a, in a love affair um, and for them to get back to you uh, it feels like they could be playing games with you too. Or somebody is playing games just to make you jealous. Could also be it. Let's see what else do we need to know about Gemini. What else do we need to know about Gemini? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Okay. We have the Hangman. Six of Pentacles, six of, sword, uh, six of Wands, Two of Wands, and the Ten of Pentacles. At the bottom of the deck, we have Five of Swords. Gemini, I feel like you are over a situation. Mm -hmm. You walked away from a situation and you're not doing anything right now. You're not doing anything right now. For the most part, you are trying to achieve... Or to heal yourself, to get back to your own balanced state without emotional turmoil. You don't want to be bothered by arguments or having to deal with dates or appointments or even for some of you, even for your work. It's more like you're wanting to get back to your balanced state without emotional upheavals, right? And I see that by doing that, Gemini, you are actually uh, conjuring the positive energy of the universe. Yeah, and um, you're bringing in light, abundance in your life. Yeah, and with that, it also comes in new opportunity. While when you are at that state of receiving, you could expect new opportunities to come your way, new acquaintances, new offers coming your way and i feel like you're gonna be very happy yeah for the most part i feel like you will be loaded 
with those type of opportunities, um, you will be more visible. It's, you know, for example, in your industry, uh, in the work that you do, I feel like you will be more uh, visible in that sense. And with all those offers, with all those um, opportunities coming your way, you will find yourself making a decision. Yeah, it's not just this decisioning between two things, but more of amongst all the decisions, amongst all the options that you have, where should you go? So you will find yourself in a space where now you got to make a decision. It's not that you are searching or running around or searching for, for opportunities to come your way. These opportunities will be coming towards you. Yeah? And you will be sitting and thinking, okay, with all these options, which one should be the good one to pursue right at this moment? Yeah, And whatever that is, once you make your decision, I feel like Ten of Pentacles is on your way. This is success. This is um, stability. This could be a, a good career uh, because it's all money. Yeah, this could be a good career space for you. For some of you, this could be a new job. For some of you, this could be um, finding that relationship that you're looking for. Mm -hmm. Finding that relationship that you're looking for. If you are connecting with someone right now, I feel like... There might be lack of communication as of the present moment, but I see this person would would try to uh, take some steps yeah. towards you to get your attention back. Mm -hmm. They want to get your attention again. They want to they, they want to get your attention. They want to see. They want to get back to the time when you were giving them. Um, compliments you know giving them your time to listen to them to listen to all whatever they have to say i think you've given up yeah you've given up in this situation especially if this person has been dramatic or playing mind games i feel like you're giving up and you're just very focused on yourself right now you know healing and all that but when this person is this person will come back too and I see that you would even find yourself thinking, Gemini, if you're going to take them back or if you're, you, you are wanting to uh, be with them again. So you, you'll find yourself at that space where do you like it or not? Would Gemini still continue to get back to what it was or not? Yeah. But the outcome here is the, um, the Ten of Pentacles. So whatever, <laughs> however you see it, this is a very good outcome. He talks about stability, money, relationship, um, getting back together for some. But it's not just getting back together and be where it was, but more of getting back together and having a plan to move into a higher level of commitment. Okay. All right. Let's find out what else do we need to know for Gemini. Senial, FOMO, tendering, and bounce. <laughs> I feel like you have someone here who wanted everything of you, the all of you, you know, somebody who wanted all of you and um, or all their options too. Yeah, you could be dealing with someone who was very casual towards you, and they will try to be around you. They will try to connect with you because they know that. There are some benefits connecting with you, Gemini, but at the same time, they are also open to other dating, open to new people online, and um, they're also ready to mingle. And I feel like that's the reason why you probably have left. Or if not that, it's more, in a general sense, it's, it's more like you were not prioritized. Yeah. Or your value wasn't seen by this person. Hence, you left. Yeah, You bounced. You left them. Okay. You're wrapping things up. Let's see. Any messages for Gemini? Dreaming of you. Thinking of you. 
can't let go and not ready. Yeah, this person, too intense. This person wasn't really ready to start with um, when you first connected, probably. Um, but even then, you know, as time goes on, this person may try to make you jealous yeah in the situation it was part of their head games they tried to make you jealous and then you are sick and tired of it and um you would rather go for what's committed or what's stable what is more reliable in terms of relationship love affair or even a job right so for you you would rather have that and now we have here somebody who is pretty confused right now I feel somebody who is not ready but somebody who has been thinking about you because they can't let you go and the feeling is pretty intense their feeling is pretty intense towards you you will hear from this person again I feel that's what I'm getting you will hear from them again yeah they're not doing anything right now they're not approaching you they're not doing any anything any step at all but they will okay let's see what do we have here for gemini the future is you breaking rules and commitment issues so basically yeah somebody may have been non-committal um, fear of commitment due to early childhood or past experiences. So now we know why they are not so committed in the beginning. And then breaking rules. Being with you will cause controversy, but they're ready to break social norms to be with you. You know, Gemini, I'm just getting that um, this could be a situation where, you know, there could be some out of the norms type of situation, right? Uh, for example, a very simple example, you could be with someone who is a lot older or a lot younger than you. Yeah, I'm not saying that that is not acceptable, but it's just like it's not in the usual norm. But of course, we see people being in that um, being in relationships with age gaps and they are successful. Right. But um, in terms of um, population, uh we don't have much yet. So that could be considered in, in this situation. That could be considered as um, probably this person yeah, is feeling like, oh, this is not, this is not uh, the norm. Yeah. But here they're breaking it. Being with you can cause contro uh, controversy, but they are ready to break it. So that means this person will push forward whatever the norms that you are possibly in out right now this person is willing to break it yeah just to be with you yeah. um the future is you a future with you is all they think about expect some kind of commitment or serious offer <laughs> there you go gemini i'm gonna leave it at that and um and here if you want to know when the serious offer it will be in the next in the few weeks time in a few weeks time so give it a month all right, I'm going to leave it at that. Let me know if this resonates in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe.